Hey Chamber Bass Players! Uh, in today's video we are going to be doing a little warm-up and a review of the double bass solo in Mahler Symphony 1. Um, and that is so that in the next video we can practice playing it in a round with you and the video. Um, so before we get started, always remember to tune your bass and make sure you have enough rosin. And if you've gotten that taken care of, we are going to start with our G major scale just one octave plus two notes, but all in thumb position. So we're going to start on this G that is on your second finger above thumb position on that octave E. So um, fingerings are pretty straightforward. Think about how you would play it down here. Because that's the same distance between the notes. We're just moving it up here. So two, open, one, two, open, one, three, thumb, one, three, because we're going all the way up to that B in these, uh, in this exercise. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to play half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, and triplets. I don't think we'll get to 16th notes in this one. Um, so down to triplets. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Play along with me. Make sure you've got a nice, good, solid starting note. And also, um, when we're playing in thumb position, you want to have your bow a little bit closer to the bridge, and you want to be playing with more of a very fast and full bow. So you want to be going as much frog to tip as you can, and kind of a bit of a faster bow. So. harmonic is a bit of a wolf tone so it might sound kind of ugly in these videos so I apologize for that but let's go ahead and get started uh, half notes one one two three four You are more than welcome to. That one's a little tricky for me, honestly. So if you can do it, props to you. Send me a little video of that as well. Um, and then let's move on and do the exercise that is also on this sheet that you should have pulled up. I think it's titled uh, G Major Thumb Position. So this is the same pattern that we've done before where we play like every other note. <laughs> Um, we're going all the way up to that B, so the turnaround is a little different than what we're used to. So definitely make sure you're reading the notes along with this. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's do one, two, three, four. solo. So that's the one that sounds a little bit like this. And so on and so forth. I think we have played this in class before. Um, so go ahead and pull that up on whatever screen you're using. Hopefully I can find it on mine. Um, there it is. 
this. And uh, just as a reminder, um, this isn't written in on the part, but the way that I like to play this is up bow on the first two beats of each measure and down bow on the second two beats of each measure. So uh, to remember is that let's try to do a little crescendo in your up bows and a little day crescendo in your down bows. So. So try to do a little swell with each measure. Uh, one more thing to pay attention to is the little breath in between each measure. So you don't want to go right into it like that. You don't want to go directly into the next measure. Take a little breath between measures. So. when my bow got a little stuck, so it was a little longer than I intended, but you get the picture. Um, so let's practice playing together. Let's play, uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, one, two, ready, go. playing along with me one more time and then try playing it on your own and your assignment for this video uh, send me a video or a recording of you playing just this excerpt by yourself so good job today guys and stay tuned for the next video when we are going to try uh, I'm gonna set up kind of like a loop with my looper pedal and you are able to play it in a round with me on the video so it should be pretty cool stay tuned bye guys